Ho, 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 righty then. That's that Jim Carrey throwback for y'all. Okay, so as you guys know, there has been AI, automation, and uh, bots and all that type of stuff way before chat GPT hit the landscape. You understand what I'm talking about? So we're going to go over a few of those. Some of you guys, you signed up to Builderall. Builderall is an awesome theme park product in itself which is awesome right which you can use for your other businesses but some of you who signed up for that you have downloaded the uh the free tool that i sent you the free bot the ai bot that i sent you for prospecting but you don't know how to use it so the reason why i'm a couple minutes late was because <laughs> i was trying to upload the tutorial video to show you guys for some reason um since i'm on this mac computer i'm running parallels it won't let me go over to the windows side of parallels while using StreamYard, which sucks. Maybe I'll start going live from Zoom or something like that, right? But I recorded the video. So there should be no more confusion. If you got this free bot that I sent you when you signed up to build a row, this can DM for you on autopilot all day while you're doing stuff like what we're doing right now. This can um email people all day see now why do you want it to do these things the bot can act as close to human as possible um you, you some softwares out there that do the email warm-ups right where uh you know if you're doing cold email outreach and everything it won't blast it out all at one time and get you blacklisted and get get your uh you know gmail accounts banned and all of that so warm-ups right well this bot can emulate that as well but it won't just do that with email. It will also do that with DMs on Instagram. It will also do that with the Gmail. So it does, it, it automatically goes to the last post that somebody put up on Instagram and it comments. And it usually you want to, you know, program it to comment something, trying to direct them over there to the DMs. Because as you know, if a person isn't following you on Instagram, they're not going to see when you cold message them. So a lot of you guys have agencies, you do marketing or you're trying to sell something or something like that. But you're cold messaging people in their DMs and they're never getting it because there's multiple inboxes in there. So the first thing you want to do is you have this bot. The bot will comment, hey, I got some clients for you. I'm trying to refer some people to your personal training business. How many clients can you take on per month? Never mind. Let's not talk about it in the comments because your competitors might be here ready to steal the clients I'm going to send to you. Go over there to your DM, open that up, and it will have further information about the clients that I'm going to be sending you. Boom. They open it up. They open up the DM. Most of them, if they're online or whatever, a lot of people don't be on that crap no more, for real, for real. But anyway, they open it up and it got your booking calendar in there. Yes, I'm going to be sending these clients. I get a nice, good flow, steady stream of referrals of people that want to lose 20 to 30 pounds before the summer come. I want to be fit. I want to be fit by summer, sexy by the summer, right? Okay. So this personal trainer is going to be like, dang, okay, cool. So you leave the link to your booking calendar. All right. So when they get on this booking uh, uh, calendar with you and I'm just giving examples, I'm not telling you to go out and get personal trainers as clients or something, but I'm giving you an example of how this tool will automate onboarding legion and all of that. You don't have to do any cold prospecting, cold calling or anything like that. OK, so they book a time on there. Then basically what you wanted to do is when they book a time on there, it's still going to automatically redirect them, automatically redirect them to an explainer, like a mini webinar explaining how the business model works. OK, I'm going to be sending you these clients, whether you want them to pay up front, monthly, whatever you want to do. I recommend you do a hybrid model. Hey, every time I send you a lead, you give me 15 bucks. And if you actually close that deal, you give me a hundred bucks plus I want a thousand bucks per month flat fee. Oh yeah. Okay. So now let's say that they watch that automated video and they still want to talk to somebody. Now you have it redirect to an invoice where they have to pay to get on the call with you so that they won't waste your time. Pay a hundred bucks for a consultation. If I can't help you, I'll reimburse you the hundred bucks at the end of the uh, conversation. Boom. Then you close them like that. All right. So this is what that chat bot can do. Automatically uh, comment, out, automatically um, DM, and it can automatically Gmail the same thing that it just said over there on Instagram. 
This just takes a lot off of your plate, guys, okay? So if you guys don't know how to use these tools, we're going to go over the um, AI bot that I sent you guys for free as a bonus through Builderall. Um, we're going to go over that one first. Then I'm going to give the instructions for downloading the IG Scraper tool. A couple of you guys, I don't know if Allison is on here. If you're on here, Allison, say what's up in the comments. Uh, Gary, say what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up. A couple of you guys, I got a Spanish version of this tool, of the IG Scraper tool. And I have an English version of this tool. I think I sent y'all the Spanish version. I think I got an email from Allison talking about like uh, <laughs> sent her the Spanish version. She said, I downloaded it perfectly, but um, I don't speak Spanish, right? Okay, so I'm gonna have to like <laughs> get get that get that one out to y'all. So I'm gonna show you guys how to go through it though. Okay, all right. So let me get this video going, and we can get it started without the black eyed peas. And cornbread. You're going to eat your cornbread? All right. So <laughs> this is how it works. Make sure you stay to the end. We're going to talk about how to monetize these bots, how to have these bots out there working for you as if you had virtual assistants or you had employees sitting right next to you or something like that. Instead, you don't have to pay a bot. A bot never has to go to the bathroom. A bot never needs to go on vacation. A bot doesn't have family vacation or family emergencies. So this is why I'm trying to get you to, you guys need to delegate. First you create, if you were here over the Sabbath day and you spent Bible study time with me on Saturday, see, that's what I'm talking about. Those are the real people that were here on the Sabbath day, okay? Um, um, then you know we talked about how God is the creator, but then he delegates everything else. He doesn't come down here and do all the lowly things. And that's how you wanna be in your business. You are the creator. You're the mastermind behind everything. And you speak things into existence. I'm not talking about that manifestation bull crap from all those YouTube channels. I'm talking about literally speaking things into existence. Hey, I want more clients for this part of the uh, company. And then you're supposed to have a specialist that's good at that. Go out and do that. So you're either going to be using uh, actual people to do that, not you, actual people to do that, or you can replace people with bots bots and machines and automations and all of that stuff i've been into this since before the scamdemic okay since before the scamdemic if you go back on the channel this is not new i've been around here since the end of 2014 before they was monetizing how they monetizing and doing all this extra crazy stuff okay so make sure you guys stay to the end so i'm going to show you guys a couple of these bots that we're going to be using today all right and i'm going to show you how to work them it's another bot you guys had questions about. Okay, it's 29 comments. Uh, no, it's 20. Hold on, it is 29 comments. Let me see what's going on before I start this. Okay, uh, we got Allison on here. <laughs> she said, use PC instead. Yes, it don't work on Mac, guys. Are you going to have to do See, I made the mistake of getting the Mac thing and everything. Just call me the Mac, like the old school Usher song, right, when he was a kid. So I thought the Mac was going to be all that, right? <laughs> But no, like it can do some awesome stuff, but then it got restrictions. And I, I noticed that PC, like Windows and everything, it can run pretty much everything that hackers and, and bot builders and, and the machiners and coders, all of these things that we can build runs way better over there on Windows. It just does. So I'm thinking about just scrapping this computer or just using it for music when I get back into it, when I got some time, right? Uh, because that's what I bought it for in the first place. What's up, Gary? What's up, Tyree? Uh, Yusuf, what's good? What's good, man? Make sure y'all stay to the end because I'm going to show you some of these bots that are going to blow your mind. You understand? Styles P style. All right. Uh, L Poppy, I ain't even want to call you that, man. Anyway, uh, Allison Felipe is the bot saved to unzip. Yes, you can unzip this. Okay, is it the one that says dist? Yes, sir. That is the one. Uh, Jerron said, What's up, Yazrael? What's going on, bro? What's up, broski? Alaskan family. It is a pleasure to have discovered you. All praises to the most high. He directs all our paths. You understand? Whether we want them to or not, you know, you don't have free will. That's an illusion. So, <laughs> okay, uh, we could talk about that on the Sabbath day if y'all want to. A lot of people think they got free will. Nah, that's a trick. Okay, how about a mini PC like Shield? Couch money. I don't know for sure. Is the bot save? Uh, explain what you mean. 
uh, I don't know how to speak Spanish of the app. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna send y'all the English version. Somebody said, nope, stay ghetto. <laughs> okay, Edward said, I don't think I have the free AI bot. Hey, when I send this, this bot is, I mean, th these files are huge, guys. Okay, so if you got a lot of uh, storage taken up in your Gmail, y'all might need to send me multiple Gmails so I can send it in, in multiple Gmails. You understand? Go make a brand new Gmail if you have to, but text the number 314-500-5528 if you signed up to Builderall already and became a customer of Builderall and you are supposed to get the free AI bot. If you haven't done that, it will be a link where you guys can do that. But I'm about to show you some magnificent AI bots and everything that will make your jobs, whether you're selling a product or a service, if you're an agency or a store, you're gonna be able to sell on autopilot using AI bots. We talk about ChatGPT a lot, guys. That's an idea builder. It's an assistant, just like the rest of this stuff I'm going to show you, but you still need to use your own creativity to bring this Frankenstein monster to life and make you a crap load of money. You understand what I'm talking about? You understand? In my juvenile voice. All right. So we got Chrome on Fire Stick with Wireless KB. Really enjoyed your sermon on Saturday. Alaskan family said, our praises. Make sure you're here. We're going to talk about some realness. If that was awesome to you, um... <laughs> If that was awesome to you last Sabbath, man. I I kind of want to tell y'all where we're going to be on this Sabbath. But uh, anyway, uh, Gary said Builder All is the bomb. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's not my product. I'm actually on Builder All, guys. I wouldn't recommend something to you that I either don't use or I don't think is going to be uh, 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 able to catapult you extremely far. All right. Uh, so Avery says, say that number again, 314. Five zero zero five five two eight. All right, only text that number. I'm gonna check. Don't be talking about some. I signed up and I don't see your Gmail up in better Raga. I can see that type of stuff. Don't play me, bro. We gonna stay honest up in here. We gonna grow this community and be fam, right? All right. So this week I was supposed to be introducing you guys to my social network. And you guys were going to be the first ones on the platform and we were going to keep it on there with you guys. But I'm running into some dang on issues with the developer since he built it from on this weird freaking platform. Uh, he's having trouble like working some of the things so it can be monetized with ads. So give me a couple more days. I had it figured out and then we won't have to meet in the group anymore. We'll meet over there on my actual asset because I practice what I preach. This is anti-job, man. Anti-job university where I teach you guys entrepreneurship through asset ownership so you can one day be rich enough to ownership instead of being so broke you can only afford a ticket to get ownership. Bars. How you join your university? Uh, well, it'll be ready in a minute. Uh, we're migrating things off of Builderall over to my own actual course platform right now. Right now, my courses are being hosted on Builderall, but I got to detach. I got to cut the umbilical cord, guys. We got to cut the umbilical cord, right? All right. So I'll let you guys know when you'll be able to upload your courses over there to the Anti-Job University. And uh, that's another thing. The video that I uploaded earlier about the um, the Udemy situation, people were running uh, running into, oh, they won't accept the courses with the AI generated voices and all that. When you got your own platform or you know somebody that do, you ain't got to worry about stuff like that. Now, granted, I do not want bull crap on my platform either. But I understand that just because some has an AI generated uh, voice does not mean it's BS. You understand what I'm talking about? If you guys still put in the work, the research, uh, you ask chat GPT the right questions you do, you get some expertise in it and you actually come up with some good, valuable courses. Then you guys go over there. You can get on there, too, when it's ready. All right. Um, Avery said, are we supposed to text something to that number? Only when you, if you signed up to build it all. Don't don't text that number if you didn't sign up to build it all. That's our school and, and agency um, customer support line right there. Um, so if you actually became a customer or you got some like actual questions or something, then you could text that number. Hey, what's up? We got somebody from Peru, man. I'm right. I'm not that far from you, man. I'm in Panama right now. Um, public adjuster. Wow. Hurricane damage, man. I used to get a couple of you guys as clients, right? Give me some money. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> 
I used to hook y'all up with some of the insurance claims down there in Florida, man, when the, when the hurricane season came down. So he said, I like that IG and automated uh, lead thing. Uh, Randy said, can you talk about the bank platform? Sure, I will talk about the bank platform. Might even go in a few of them, right? Um, but yeah, if you guys don't know about the bank in the box platform, I'll go into that before I start showing you guys the videos for the AI tool, okay? The bank in the box is <laughs> basically a business in a box setup where you have your own online banking platform, such as a Cash App, such as a Stripe, such as a Chime, one of those type of situations, right? All right. It is not for you to compete with those guys. If you want to go that big, then go ahead. But let me tell you, every state has its own licensing fees. So what we recommend is you start with Montana. Montana does not have any licensing fees uh, uh, or money transmitter uh, fees. So you can literally open up a bank in Montana for free. And then Hawaii, where I'm originally born, Honolulu, you know, uh, <laughs> Hawaii born, St. Louis raised, you already know. Now, um, <laughs> All right, so Hawaii is only a thousand bucks. So that's two states. Montana free, Hawaii a thousand bucks. You can start running your bank in there. All right. So we recommend that you start dealing with businesses because businesses have employees. Them employees can give debit cards to their uh, uh I mean the employers can give the debit cards to their employees. They pay them on their uh, wage days and everything. And every time they use their debit cards, every time a transaction happens on a platform, every time somebody pays their Netflix bill, takes their mistress, mistress to the hotel, goes to Six Flags in that state, city or state or whatever, you get transaction fees. Every time they use the ATM, you get transaction fees. So this is what I'm about, guys. I teach you guys to own platforms that take on a life of their own. And what I mean by that, user-generated content or activity. If you build a, a banking platform, you don't really have to encourage users to do anything. They're going to spend on their own. So every time they're spending, buying, doing whatever they want to do, secretively, publicly, whatever it is, when they when they buy that adult video at nighttime or whatever, you still going to get a transaction fee from that. All right. All right. So Felipe say he's from Costa Rica, man. I'm like 45 miles away from the dang on uh, borderline over there right now. You understand what's going on? Uh, public adjuster says, yeah, in Panama, off of España, I like capital and barrio chino. I'm Dominican, but back to business. Yes, Lord. All right. Uh, just joined the FB group. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. All right. Allison says she's a notary. So we got a lot of different business backgrounds on this mug, man. So this is why I do these live streams, because if I'm just going after uploaded videos, YouTube just wants me to talk about ChatGPT right now because that's what's trending. But when we go live, it gives me the opportunity to talk to y'all about real business, real ownership. You're not entrepreneur. The word entrepreneurship has been tainted. All right. So you need to be striving to be business owners and business owners own businesses. Wordplay. Right. We don't think about that when we're trying to drop ship. We're supposed to be owning the drop shipping platform. You're supposed to be Shopify. All right. You're not just supposed to be, you know, the dude that's just copy and pasting images from Amazon or eBay and then upselling and then doing. You're not just supposed to think on a small level like that. So over here on Anti Job University, we talk business. Profile says when I click on the link last week, it just says David Robertson invited you. But then underneath it, it says join Builder All Group. Hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, Mind is a limit says I have an online home decor store. My father has a plastics business and a metal machine shop. We're looking for the day AI take over, takes over and the humans running machines. Listen, it'll come soon. It, it'll be here, but it'll be a while though. So don't fret yet. All right, let's go ahead and get to running a couple of these videos so y'all don't get sleepy and leave. OK, we want to make sure everybody gets edified, knows how to use these tools, knows how to make money with these tools. You understand what I'm talking about? OK, so no matter what business you have, whether you have a business now or you are aspiring to start a business or something, we can give you business ideas. But I'm, I just want you guys to know that when you do have a business, you're not supposed to be you can't be the CEO and the janitor. That is very difficult to do. It's very difficult to actually pull off trying to be the CEO and the janitor. Trust me, 
even myself, I'm still pulling myself out of things that I shouldn't be doing. Like eventually somebody else will be doing these live streams. Eventually, right? But I super love doing this type of stuff. But I understand this is not a CEO task. It's not. You can't be the CEO and the freaking janitor. It just don't match. So I want you guys to understand that bots, but I wouldn't even be able to do this if I didn't have bots running and, and virtual assistants and all of that stuff growing the business the other way. You understand? We get crazy traffic to our sites and stuff because we have bots. Bots don't get tired. They don't get sleepy. Sleep. There we go. Starting to mess up again like it was doing on the Sabbath. Y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Let me know. Can you hear me? <laughs> Mira, Mira Z Tech. I think that's how you. Marixi Tech. Marixi Tech? I think that's how you say. Like, what happens to the humans? <sighs> this is why you have to become irreplaceable like Beyonce's song, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Only way you can do that is if you up your skill level. You have to up your worth, your value. First, you need to be able to harness these different new AIs and machines that are going to be coming out because you got to remember, they're going to break down. You got to remember, they're going to need uh, new versions and updates and stuff. So if you're the guy that know how to do all of that, you're never going to be replaceable until the day that they know how to update and repair themselves. So it's certain skills that we're just going to have to up on. We can't be lazy. That's what I was trying to tell y'all with the eBooks and the courses. A lot of people just got the video misconstrued that I gave y'all. Yes, it's simple, but that doesn't mean be lazy. I wasn't trying to get you guys to be lazy, y'all. I still want you to put some of you in there so you can be proud of yourself. If chat GPT do it all, then I mean, what the hell? You understand what I'm saying? Like, right. So we're about passing down assets to our children's children. All right. All good, bro. Loud and clear. All right. Let's get over here to this first uh, box. OK, make sure you guys turn your volume up, take notes and everything and um, pay attention to how this works. If you downloaded it, you need to pay attention to how this works. OK. All right. So if you have uh, purchased the IG scraper tool this is a quick video and if you have gotten into builder all i'm going to show you how to work the uh, ai bot as well okay so first you would download it of course then you will click on it as you can see it's going to bring you in here then you open the folder it's very simple okay yes yes we know the device is ready okay so now this is the configuration right here. Very simple. You oh, you can select this right here. Extract without confirmation. Boom, you open it up. As you can see, this is uh, the message that you're going to be sending people, blah, blah, blah. So you can just replace uh, this with what you want to send on Instagram, OK? You just replace that with what you want to send. This is where the comment will be, where it says start line. That's where your data source is. This is what you have your leads in. And let me show you that. So whenever you want to um, edit this, change the messages, or change what line you want to end on, or what line you want to start on, you will simply just open this up in Notepad. Okay, so y'all see that? So now that that's open, this is a CSV file. You want to always, let me see, extract without confirmation. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to, see, it's making me do it all over again. Okay. Let me come over here and show you. Let's go to this folder right here. So this is how it will look on yours. Okay. So you got this one right here. But I renamed mine. OK, so I'm going to open it in Excel. So you want to make sure you open it with Excel, as you can see right here. Boom. So as you can see, it's opening it with Excel. And we have all of these leads that we scraped from Instagram that this bot will be using and reaching out to on autopilot. Boom. So we just X out of that. And when you're ready to start the app, once you've done all of that, 
you will simply click click on the one that says application and it will open up and it's going to open up in prompt okay so i'm running a little late to the actual live stream that i'm doing for you guys right now as always okay all right come on zoom got it running a little slow y'all all right so now what you would do as you can see it says welcome to Chrome, but what it's going to do is redirect to Instagram because it logs us into Instagram first. OK, so you'll only ever have to log into Instagram one time to program this. It will remember it from now on. See. All right. So <laughs> you guys don't want to log into my Instagram. So it's logging into my Instagram. So <laughs> teach yours to log into your Instagram. If you come over to my Instagram, you just simply like log out of your instagram and log back in once it is actually in your instagram you're going to come back into this prompt and you're going to say enter you're going to click enter and what it's going to do is automatically go over here to gmail as you can see and then you're it's not going to remember gmail for some weird reason but then i put in this this is my gmail so you put in whatever yours is. You log in. And then you put in your password. Boom. And once it's logged in with your password, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> it's making me do all this extra crap. Oh man. Please. All right, one moment, sir. Okay, I gotta confirm on my phone because I'm doing it with a different IP and in a different browser. Continue to sign in. Yeah, 39. Now let me in. Boom. All right, <laughs> so it probably shouldn't do that to you, you know what I'm saying, unless you're using VPNs and different browsers and all of that stuff. So now that I'm logged into Gmail, all I have to do now is open the prompt back up, and then I'm going to press Enter. All right, and it's going to redirect back to Instagram on its own, guys. <sighs> guys and gals, shall I say. OK, as you can see, it says processing line 477. Obviously, I haven't changed which line is going to be on. But as you can see, it goes to their last post on its own and is going to comment what we had programmed in that uh, notepad. Remember at the beginning, after it comments that. It's going to close that out on its own. I got to hurry up and get to you guys. Jeez. Super late. And then it's going to message. I'm pretty sure you yeah, I got the idea. It's going to send the same message with a booking calendar for me. You guys, it might be something different. Okay, so boom, it pastes that in there. All right. And then Okay, so now it's opening up Gmail. And it's going to send them a Gmail. Okay, so that should be good, guys. You guys see how it works. Boom, as you can see, is in there. All right. <laughs> so as y'all can see, man, I was resting trying to get back here, but y'all get the gist of it. First, you download it. Then you're going to extract the confirmation without confirmation for each of those little folders that it gives you. Then you're going to go back to the file that says... Uh, csv and it got the leads in there and all of that and that's where you'll just put your leads in there all right you'll just put your leads whatever leads you got you open that in excel and then the other configuration uh file that you saw 
you open that in notebook to edit it's gonna you know you're gonna right click on it and then it says edit or open with notepad right okay so when you open that and edit with notepad you're gonna choose which line you want to start with on your excel file remember the excel file got the leads in there right okay so you just type in i want to start on line 200 you know just remember where you left off on so you won't be sending people the same messages like i'll be doing sometime right <laughs> all right so then when you save that then you're just going to click on the one that says application boom all right so the application opens it's going to open prompt you know what I'm saying that black screen prompt command and the cursor is just going to flash for a second you give it a second especially if your computer is slow then it's going to automatically open up instagram if you logged in there before then you're good but if not then you just log into your instagram then you open the prompt black prompt, prompt box again don't ever x out of the prompt box while you're doing this because then it will stop the application so i'm happy i got y'all on her live okay so after you log in instagram you you uh bring up the prompt box and you press enter then it's going to automatically redirect i know it's a lot of steps y'all <laughs> it seemed like a lot but once you do it once you're good all right when it opens up uh gmail you log into gmail then you open up the prompt box one more time you press enter and then you're golden okay so then it's going to redirect back to ig automatically it's going to open up the last post on that line of leads that you have it's going to search the username which is like extremely powerful a bot is doing this you would normally have to get somebody from fiverr to go and scrape all the de uh, scrape all the usernames from this hashtag or something like that manually and then you just go in there on your phone and you just manually dm and everybody and comment and then fiverr i mean not fiverr instagram tells you dude you're moving too fast <laughs> slow down for i block your account right so you instead of you doing all of this you can focus on more important tasks in your day like actually fulfilling the work for the clients or like actually uh if you want to get on the call with the clients you can i recommend you just record some type of um explainer ask the questions uh, uh ask the client all the questions they want uh answers to because guess what they're not going to be the only person with those questions so you create like a faq type video for them and then you that's the same video you're going to give to anybody else that books on your calendar it's like a webinar pretty much yeah and then at the end of it you be like now if you don't have any other questions the invoice is below all right okay so we got 46 people on here make sure y'all get the likes up man that means it should be 46 million likes on this video man we got to spread this now it's 47. come on man responsibility y'all y'all falling off i'm just messing with you okay <laughs> all right so before we get to the next um next uh software that i'm going to show you guys do you have questions about that software right there <sighs> tyree says all good bro sound loud and clear oh that's old um public of justice says on your ig ai scrub does it provide show my default as email um i'm kind of confused how you typed it I, I don't understand can you rewrite it uh differently for me please please uh if you're asking will it default to your gmail you're all, all you're gonna have to log into your gmail every time for some reason gary harrison said it's simple not easy exactly <laughs> i literally had to have my developer like he had to get and this is what we're going to be doing in the boot camp we're going to be building these things together so if you're building it then you're going to know how to work it right okay so <laughs> but i had to have the developer on there with me like we're like actually like you know how are we doing it right now only it was like now do this like felt like he was feeding me baby food or something right <laughs> all right so same procedure for windows yes sir this that was actually in windows that video that i just showed you that was me recording it over there in windows using parallels um mary marexitech marexitech let me know if i'm pronouncing that right all right marexitech said the phone's ringing yes lord yes lord let me get a yes lord in the comments because the phones will be ringing 
50 people on here, let me get 50 yes lowets in the comments because it will be ringing. And the good thing about that, guys, you usually have to hire, if you guys ever had a marketing agency, digital marketing agency, SEO agency, S MMA agency, Facebook ad agency, TikTok agency, you got to hire appointment setters. You got to pay somebody hourly, even if they're from the Philippines and it's $2 an hour, you still got to pay somebody to go out and do exactly what I just showed you right there. And let's say somebody responds. This is why I told you guys Builder All is freaking awesome. All right. Because let's say somebody responds. Matter of fact, I'm going to put that in the chat, man. Okay. Uh, let's say somebody responds to that and they don't go to uh, the, um, what do you call it? They don't go to the booking calendar automatically and all of that extra stuff. Okay. Guess what? Builder Raw has an Instagram autoresponder. <laughs> so this is doing an outreach for you. And the Instagram autoresponder is doing from Builderall is doing the freaking follow up for you, making sure that they go to the booking calendar. Let's say they say, I, I don't know what I'm not sure what this is. You can program it to automatically say, look, I know you might have more questions, but I promise you everything will be answered with full clarity on this call or on this session. Here's the booking calendar link again. Boom. Come on. And then you can program it to keep on sending that message out throughout the weeks. Oh, my God. You see what I'm saying? Yes, Lord. I only see a few yes, Lord. Okay, we got a few. We got a few. It should be some more yes, Lords though. There's it's, it's a lot of people on here. Okay. Raul said, hell, you're. <laughs> or hell, <-er." laughs> is that is that supposed to be some Tyler Perry type stuff, dude? He put hell, -er in there. Uh, Edward said, I have the IG tool bot. And I cannot open none of the files. Okay. Don't worry, man. Um, a couple of y'all got the Spanish version anyway. So I'm going to resend that one out. And tomorrow, when we go live again, I am going to show you guys how to download that one, extract that one, just like we did this one, and how to run it. Okay? So don't worry. Uh, Randy Bryan said, when is boot camp? Well, if we're doing a countdown, it's, it's less than a week. I said it's going to be in a week of the 20th. I still have a few things I need to add to it. So uh, it's, it's not available right now, guys. But make sure you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed because you're definitely going to want to be in this boot camp. If you're wondering what the boot camp is, I have told you guys before, but it might be new people on here. But this is the Asset Empire boot camp. We're going to be building five to seven different assets. Some of them will be the ebooks and the courses that you guys like, but that's low level stuff. OK, you're going to be building your own tools, your own apps. You're going to have your own directories. You're going to have your own platforms, social networks, niche networks, and everything like that, that will have communities that take on a life of their own, and they're going to monetize the platforms for you. This is the, These are all the little things that I have working for me right now. You understand what I'm saying? And if you guys have been on my channel, you have seen inside some of my accounts. If you've been here since 2015, then you, you've seen the money that I make, okay? So I'm not going to keep going over that for new people. Just go back into my... Um, <laughs> history on the channel and type in testimonials, payment proof, and that sort of thing right there. I'm not some new jack. Um, all right. So Edward said, cool, much appreciated. Gary said, no say espanol. I got y'all. I got y'all. All right. I'm going to send you the English version. All right. I'm going to send you the English version, right? Okay. So just make sure you guys are here next, uh, Lord Will, in the week of the 20th. The boot camp is 2500 so I'm, I, that's why I've been telling y'all for weeks ahead of time. Skip out on the club. Skip out on the fast food. Skip out on the Jordan. Skip out on the iPhone version 3082 that just got a new camera and that's it. Skip out on all the BS because we're going to be building five to seven different assets. Those assets will all have instant monetization methods. So yes, you have to get users for your uh, um, asset, your platforms and your assets and all of that stuff like that. But we have certain things we can do for instant monetization for these platforms as well. So you're gonna you're gonna have the tools to build. I'm gonna have another teacher in there with me 
and the developer in there with me. It's going to be an eight-week boot camp. Eight weeks, baby. By the time you get to the other end of this, you will have money in your pocket if you're following along with us. All right? So that is not some whoop de da maybe type stuff. This is, listen, I'm not a prideful man because pride comes before the fall, and I don't want God to take me down, right? So I'm only going to teach you guys things that I know. It was some, I don't want to talk bad about him, but I'll just say he's ignorant, meaning he doesn't know any better. There was some dude that commented, uh, why is this guy teaching you things that he don't know about? There's a gazillion good comments in that same video. So obviously they seen something that he didn't. But then he says that. You're always going to have people that mistake or don't understand certain things. So all I did was say, just go back on the channel, please. That's going to be my response from everything from now on. I'm not going to argue with anybody. If you're skeptical, if you're hesitant, I'm not going to do all of that. That's something internal, guys, because I've proven myself since 2015. You guys just met me, but you can go back on the channel and you'll see. I've been here. I've been showing inside my models, showing clients, showing students, showing sessions with actual business and everything. I've been doing this. I've been here since United States to Mexico to Panama now. I don't run away. You don't buy something from me and then I disappear off the line and pull a Ty Lopez game on you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? All right, so let's move on, guys. So Edward said you'll need to, I mean, Gary told Edward, you'll need to unzip them first, either with WinZip or some free unzipper. Yes, thank you, man. This is what the community is for. Talk in the Facebook. I'll be seeing y'all be all. Anti-social in the Facebook group? What's going on, man? It's like 300 some uh, of y'all in there. It's supposed to be a community of people that's helping each other build, y'all. Some of these people that you're in there with will be some of your customers or clients. So get to know each other, y'all. Networking. They say your net worth is determined by your net work, right? Start building your network, y'all. All right. So uh, JD said, that's it. You almost need to chill it in order for this remain effective. YouTube is blowing up with this hustle and it's going to burn our spot. No, I'm not going to chill it. I've been here forever. I've been here when I get views like 20 views a video. I've been here when I get views like 100,000 views a video and I'm still here. Why? Because I'm not a YouTuber. So I don't get discouraged when trends go away. My livelihood doesn't depend on whether or not chat gpt continues the trend even though i don't think it's going anywhere but yeah like you said it's, it's people that's making videos about it and they're in the dang old fitness industry and, and and they and they pop water balloons for a living you're like what the hell are you doing but i listen a lot of people live off of youtube you understand i use youtube to funnel people to my assets like you are supposed to do so I'm not going to chill and I'm going to talk about chat GPT and AI and all of this stuff because I use AI. I've been using AI before chat GPT popped off. Go back and look at my 2020 videos when people was all curled up and scared with their mask on in the house, scared to go outside. I was selling AI. I was selling bots. I was doing automation already. So chat GPT don't turn, determine nothing for me, right? And it shouldn't for you guys either. This is why I say in, increase your skill set. Increase your value so that you will be everlasting no matter if a trend goes away or not. I want that for you guys. I want you guys to be like powerful. You understand? All right. So how much is the boot camp? Once again, the boot camp is $2,500. If you only want to get inside the course, then the course is just $2K. Just like the Godfather drop servicing was $2,000 at the beginning of the scamdemic. So it's $2K for just the course. If you want the mastermind, which you might as well already get in the boot camp, it's only an extra 500, then it's 2,500. Super simple. You guys still have about a week and some change, but I've been talking about this for some weeks already. All right. So even if it's just three or four of you guys in there, guess what? We're going to be building five to seven different tools, apps, directories, platforms, these type of real tangible things that you can call yourself an actual business owner. You don't have to have a million people using these things. The goal is to get you passive income. Definition of passive income is where you can have an asset or a stream built once, put up the work once or the investment once, and it continuously brings you income on autopilot. That's 
that's passive income, guys. A lot of people are lying and don't know the freaking definition. So my goal, if you know that one income stream can bring you $5,000 a month, you're like, hmm, why don't I build another one that's similar or invest in another one similar? I'll give you an example, guys. There's a lot of inactive or a kind of dead Facebook groups out there. If you wanted to get people to a niche social uh, network, let's say you built your own social media network like a LinkedIn type situation where business owners are going to congregate. I suggest that you go niche. Let's say that you only wanted this social network to have plumbers on there. Guess what? It's super simple to either go partner, joint venture, or purchase a Facebook group from all of these plumbing Facebook group owners. They ain't doing nothing with them anyway. They don't know how to really monetize them. So now what? Now that you own these groups, you literally make a pinned post saying, hey, what's up, all plumbers that's in this group? This group will be shut down at this date. So before it shut down, this is the new place we will be congregating. Blah, 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 plumbers, social network, dot, blah, blah, blah. Boom. Instant automation. I mean, instant, um, instant revenue because you're going to have ads on there as well. So as soon as they start going there, your platform is already monetized. You're already getting money. You're already getting your ROI, if you want to call it all of that. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. Actual ownership. That's when you're a business owner. OK, so uh, Marixi Tech says uh, free drinks. <laughs> Alaskan family says the best business investment is in yourself. Yes, Lord. Gary Garrison says 2500 Yes, sir. 2500 Yes, sir. We see a couple people that dipped off after I said the price. We don't want them folks anyway. Listen, YouTube is free, y'all. That Facebook group is free as well. And whatever you guys ask me, I, the scripture says don't upbraid it. I'm supposed to give you uh, freely. But it also says to pay your servants wages. So if I'm working with you or for you, I'm supposed to get paid. How else I'm going to feed my family? How else I'm going to continue business? For some reason, when people get on YouTube, they're just like, entertain me. Entertain me. My wife was telling me about this one dude uh, that does, he got this channel for fitness, uh, Carnivore. They don't make that much money in that in that niche. And he's been trying to grow his channel for a long time. And he finally got a sponsorship deal. And a person in the comments talking about some, oh, well, here come the sponsors. I'm, I'm uh, you just lost a subscriber. I'm like, so this dude is supposed to go to work a nine to five and spend eight hours editing a video to entertain you. But you mad if he monetized the video? It's some evil people. But we ain't going to get off. We ain't even going to get off a uh, topic. All right. So we got vision, seen and felt. I can express my appreciation enough. I appreciate you, uh, J.D. M.V. Cummins, um, public adjuster, Edward and Garrison. Uh, Edward. Listen, just make sure you're here tomorrow. Manana, man. Okay. I am going to download that one as if I'm you guys. I'm going to download that tool, the Instagram tool. I'm going to extract it. I'm going to set it up, program it, all of that right here. So if you got the uh, IG lead scraper uh, tool, then make sure you're here. Set your alarm for five o'clock tomorrow. I might be a couple minutes late, guys. You guys will be seeing that, right? That's because I got others. I I don't know why I keep losing the mic. But anyway, just make sure you set your alarm for 5 p.m. tomorrow. We will go over this, okay? Uh, Colleen Foster says, I am interested, but we need to talk. I'm not jumping off face blue smiling. You're not jumping off. Uh, Colleen, tell me what, what you're interested in. Are you talking about the boot camp? All right. Randy said, should I choose the bank in the box or the boot camp? To be honest with you, man, like <laughs> that's a diff that's difficult because the bank is an asset too. But you gotta remember this the bank is only one asset. You can have that as well. But the reason why I charge that much for it is because we gotta do all the work. You see what I'm saying? Building it out and helping you get people on there and all of that. But in the boot camp, we're gonna be doing this together. So I ain't gotta charge per every single platform that you guys are, every single tool, we're going to be building all this stuff together. You see what I'm saying? So if I was you, the bank in the box is 5K. 
the boot camp is 2500 not telling you to take the cheap option but well, it's not cheap but i'm not telling you to take the lower price option but the reason why i would say is because you get a little bit more bank for a uh, bank bang for your buck in the boot camp because you're going to be building we're going to be building five to seven different tools platforms apps these type of things five to seven different assets you understand what i'm saying so that has far more potential than just one asset unless you just like give it everything you got and you trying to go out there and be bigger than paypal or something my goal is not to make you bigger than paypal my goal is to teach you to have assets that will make it to where you don't have to be a slave on a plantation you understand what i'm saying so to get you free take the shackles off from your uh, your, your, your whip cracker or your, your boss that's my goal so these platforms whether they have 200 people on them or 2,000 people on them by the end of our boot camp this can make you to where you don't have to work anymore you don't have to worry about sales traditional sales anymore like I make money even if I don't get a client I make money just by them going to my sites so these are the things that I want you to be able to do with your assets so that you don't have to be desperate for the sale trust me i know it hurts i've been doing it for a long time man then that you got something real good you want to sell somebody and and you just like damn just take a chance this is going to work for you and they just skeptical and hesitant and scared and and you need it to work for them and, and you need money too and all of this extra stuff listen i understand this is why i teach you instant monetization methods with your assets so that you don't have to depend on platforms i mean you don't have to depend on sales all right so when you get sales that's going to be bonus on top of the other instant monetization methods uh colleen says course or boot camp hold on dz said what are the financing options for the bank in the box um we don't have any financing option is is 5k if you go to google and you you can open up another browser right now anybody can go open up another browser if you google price of a fintech app or build a white label bank for me cost or something like that twenty thousand thirty thousand we're doing it for 5k to 10k right now the base is 5k but that base is going to move to 10k so it's, right now it's 10k with a mastermind and 5k with the, just a bank by itself so 5k is already the, the financing option of the discount for that you got to remember guys open your open your brains this is a, a bank i know that we're on youtube and you're used to going to the link in the description and the product is 20 bucks or 99 but, but real business if you getting real developers if you open up a brick or mortar business any type of real business you're more you're talking to your the conversation is thousands now it's not it's not no 10 15 buck ebook type stuff we're talking about real business now okay so that is the price for the the bank in the box guys because it's an actual freaking bank man do you understand how much money you can make from that okay uh <laughs> gary says um colleen said course or boot camp the boot camp like i said is 2500 i would go to the boot camp because we're going to be doing all of that stuff live the course you're going to get the replays and is and is going to have access to the uh the mastermind group that group is going to be separate from the free one that you guys are in right now okay just letting you guys know all right uh because we're going to be on some illuminati stuff in there <laughs> okay um but but yeah the boot camp i mean it's only an extra 500 over the 2000 from the course so i mean if it was me and like listen i'm not trying to put anybody in no type of position if you don't have the money then don't do it just don't do it but what i will say is we come up for them with the money for everything else we come up for them with the money for everything else black friday come up we got the biggest tv in the world biggest rims that don't know you see how this be doing man shoes that be looking like they from outer space right hey i'm gonna need a little bit more water Hold on, y'all. Oh. I'm going to mute this so y'all don't hear me screaming, y'all. Er
Necesito más agua, por favor. Muchas gracias. Rapido, rapido. Okay. Yes, I'm showing off with my little bit of Spanish. <laughs> Allison said, the devil is alive. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, crap, I click on link and kick me out. I will have to click once I'm off. Are you talking about, you tried to click on, what you tried to click on? All right, uh, Gary said, boot camp is only $312.50 per week. That's also less than $360 per ass. See, I like how he broke that down. You can tell he got experience in business. So basically he's, oh golly, you did it better than me. So if you're looking at, thank you. All right, vamos. All right. <laughs> if you're looking at twenty five hundred, like it's a lot of money, you have to realize that I'm going to have the developer on there with us. That's going to be helping us build all of this. He got to make money too. You understand what I'm talking about? On top of that. Even if you were trying to build one of these assets by yourself that we're going to be building, it would be more than twenty five hundred. So how he broke that down, like, yo, you killed it, dude. I might need to, like, split some revenue with you and just like have you as my sales partner or something. <laughs> he just killed that one right there. Um, public said, oh, how about your website link or email? Um, which which website? Which one are you talking about? Are you talking about Build or all? What are you talking about? Um, S dot said biggest TV but no stable internet connection. Right. Uh, Randy Bryan said, can you list the platforms we going to build together? I'm interested in a boot camp. Uh, thanks. So we're going to build tools. So these will be like Chrome extension type tools. And Chrome extension type tools can be used for perfect perfect lead generation because most Chrome extension tools are niche. So you'll know exactly what type of business our entrepreneur is coming to use that Chrome extension tool. We're also going to be building apps per niche. We're also going to build directories per niche. You understand? We're also going to have social networks per niche. Okay. So those are just a few things that are going to be in there. All right, we got some more. Um, he said I clicked on build around. Yeah. What is it? I think somebody connected to my Bluetooth, yeah. Okay. These little blinking lights in the background that y'all see, it also has Bluetooth connected to it. You can play like music on them. It's weird out here in Panama. They got all these weird I don't know. Anyway, but yeah. All right, so yes, they are. All right, I had to let them know they was connected. All right, y'all. Kind of got a little pissed off because uh, whoever connected to the uh, the Bluetooth on the y'all see these little flashing light situations or whatever. You connect to them damn things, and it's super difficult to disconnect from them. So I'm talking to y'all, and then you can hear. Me. Did y'all hear the Spanish in the background? Just started playing. I'm thinking I'm going crazy and stuff, and that's this dang old thing in the background. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get to the next uh, tool. We're going to get to the next tool for the people that weren't here on the other one. Okay. So make sure you guys are paying attention. Uh, this tool right here is super awesome. So if you do any type of prospecting or anything like that, if you uh, do any type of outreach, this tool can do what you can do in a week in minutes. And let me show you. 
So it's not too many people showing real proof of how they're making money with chat GPT. So what I did was I came over here and I asked chat GPT to do the best keyword research and scrape all of the keywords for plastic surgeons, uh, chiropractors and dentists. What is going to happen? I am going to automate a way using an AI bot to send them a link to my funding opportunity where they can get new equipment and pay their employees or whatever. And I could get commissions for that. So what's going to happen is I'm going to send to thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of these doctors at the same time, this affiliate link. And guess what? It's going to go to their sites and it's going to fill out thousands and thousands of contact forms while you guys do this manually. So all of these guys in Google, they're going to get a message from me. How? We're going to come over here right now. We took the data that we had from uh, chat GPT and we plugged it in here as keywords. We're going to open up project settings. And as you can see, all of the keywords suggested by chat GPT are inside here. Okay. So then what we do is we're going to close this out and watch this guys. I told you guys, I'll show you every dang on thing, man. All right. We're going to press start and scrape new websites. And as you can see down here at the bottom, look, already is scraped 43 websites. All right. These are chiropractors, dentists, plastic surgeons, people that have budgets between five thousand to twenty thousand dollars easily. And what's going to happen is we're going to get them the funding. And what's going to happen with the funding after they get their equipment, they're going to have enough money left over for us to do some magnifico marketing. All right. And this idea all came from chat GPT. Told you guys. So we use chat GPT for ideas research and what will make us the most money and we combine it with other AI tools and automation tools to do the outreach and mass uh, effect. Okay. So as you guys can see, this works is already scraped around 285 uh, websites. So what's going to happen is once it's done, you would then press stop right here and then you will click uh, again. And then you would send the messages, but I want to keep it running so that I can send these later. OK, so I'll go more in depth on the training tonight when you guys are with me live. All right. So that one was for those of you who didn't get to see that one. Like, I think that was last week or something like that. A lot of you guys are new and you didn't get to see that one. So let's say that you guys are reaching out to dentists. And you go to Google and you search top dentists in Los Angeles and you can't find their uh, email. You can't find their right email on our website. You didn't put up the little Chrome extension. Um, what is it called? Hunter.io or whatever. You didn't put up one of those and it still ain't scraping an email from their website. But you really feel like this person can use your help in their dentistry to get more patience. Right. So. You go to the contact form because, you know, like even if you do find our Gmail, uh, uh, their actual email, it could go to spam. But you do know that their contact form will go directly to them. It goes directly to their office. I'll say that. OK, so so my point is this. Imagine if you can send a crap load of messages to a crap load of websites, contact forms in minutes. So that one right there does that. So whatever you were going to tell them in the Gmail message, you just put that in the contact form. And that software right there is going to do all of that for you. And it can scrape hundreds of thousands of sites. Of course, you're going to need proxies. And we'll go into that in the boot camp as well. Uh, VPS, I'm using the VPS right now. We'll go into that. All right. So that's just to make sure that you're uh, e uh, your email accounts, um, your inst not your Instagram, your internet connection don't get b uh, blocked and all of that stuff from sending too many messages. So the proxies and all of that acts as different computers and internet connections and all of that. So it looks like it's not just you doing all of this, right? <laughs> so this allows you to send a crap load of messages without getting ghosted or blocked like you normally would on on Craigslist or something like that, right? So this is awesome. Is extremely awesome. It's a game changer for anybody selling anything to businesses. All right. Um, somebody said 
Aaron Aaron Nell. Aaron Nell. Aaron Neal. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sorry. What was the most interesting thing that made you want to move to Panama? Okay. Well, I don't want to get straight too far off because I got to show you guys another video. Um, I bet I got some keto pizza right here, right? I'm I'm back on the diet, y'all. I'm back on keto, right? Um, but what made me move to Panama, man, is because it looks like Jurassic Park everywhere, and the weather where I'm at is is awesome. It's consistent. There's no tornadoes here. There's no hurricanes here. It's tremors, but there's no earthquakes here. Is no bull. Is none of that extra crap. You know what I'm saying? I just want it. I just want a consistent weather. I want a consistent beauty. I'm in the jungle slash mountains. I'm right. Actually, a, a sleeping volcano is right in front of me and right in front of my house. So hopefully, it stays asleep for a couple more thousand years. Right. But anyway, <laughs> I'm moving in a couple months anyway. Going to Boquete, Panama, and I ain't gonna move next to a volcano. Um. <laughs> All right, but anyway, so you know um, the cost of living, of course. Um, the people are super friendly and beautiful. It's the number two or one retirement uh, destination in the world, as far as countries. A, a lot of Americans take their pensions and their social security checks when they get older, and they move out here. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's just it's perfect. Um, it's perfect in a lot of asset aspects. Um, the food is natural. Everything's not super processed. Uh, there was one more thing I wanted to say about it. I can't think about. It. I don't know. I, I can't. It's, a, it's just a lot of things, man. It would take me all day. Van Halen wrote a song about it in the '80s because it's freaking awesome, man. Um, oh, Iran El, Iran El. Okay, Hebrew spiritual name. All praises to the Most High. Yeah, it's real. That's my spiritual name. Uh, John Wick said, I'm guessing you live near Yellowstone. I don't know where that is. I'm, I'm past, I'll just say I'm past Boquete. Boquete, Panama. And Boquete is beautiful. I'm moving there soon. But I, I really don't want to say the exact location of where I'm at right now. Um, he said, thanks for answering. I've been considering is why I'm, I asked without getting too off base, of course. Thanks. Oh, yeah, man. All of y'all. It's 48 people on here that all should have or be planning to get their passports because Babylon, where you guys are, is going. And I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I just know what God is going to do according to scripture. So that place is going to get treated just like Sodom and Gomorrah. Don't it look and feel just like Sodom and Gomorrah right now? But anyway, I thought we were going to build a bank app too at the boot camp. <laughs> No, um, that would no. I don't even know. How to, I don't know how to build a, uh, the bank. You understand? Uh, the developer, he's not going to build that in there. You guys, he's not. He's not going to build the bank in there. No, I'm talking about um, platforms and tools and apps and things like that that don't require that magnitude of coding or, or third party all type of stuff that got to happen with that y'all y'all don't even understand what that bank in the box situation is awesome it's awesome if you ain't got to do it <laughs> this is why we charge that for it and that's still cheap uh con king what's up king asher what's going on with you yellowstone is in wyoming if i'm not mistaken oh yeah <laughs> yeah Yellowstone National Park, I guess. I don't know. I know it's somewhere in Babylon, but I'm I'm not even in America no more. So I don't, I I've never been to Yellowstone. It's a lot of beautiful places in the United States that I didn't get to go to, even even though I was an over the road truck driver. Okay, Dante Penix, if you're on here right now, he said he's having trouble uh, opening. I think he's having trouble opening. Remember, we're going to talk, we're going to go over the other tool, the IG scraper tool, manana, all right? So just be on here tomorrow, guys. If you're on here, Dante, just be here tomorrow. If not, then I'll uh, email you when I get off here or something. Okay, buns, <laughs> bun stacks. 
He said, how do I get some money? That's a very like broad, it's, it's a million ways to get money. First law, we want to do it legally so that we can enjoy it, right? Uh, just stick around. Travis Barlow says, I have been trying to build assets for a while. My biggest obstacle is marketing. Hmm. That's funny because marketing is the easy part, man. You just got to remember that everybody are people. We get online and we lose humanity for some real reason. So that's what makes sales and marketing and all of that stuff difficult. You just have to know people's lust, desires, all of that type of stuff, fears and, and all of the things. They either want to move towards pleasure. Just remember this, y'all, for anybody on here trying to do sales. People either want to move towards pleasure or they want to move away from pain and fear. So anything that you can propose to them that can move them away from pain and fear, most of the time they'll ask you how much it is or what can they pay you, right? Uh, yeah, pain or pleasure. Those are the, like he said earlier, it's simple, not easy. But remember, read the book, The Irresistible Offer. If you read The Irresistible Offer or go to Amazon and get the audio book, because I don't, you know, get the audio book. I don't have an affiliate link for it. Just get the audio book. It's going to change your freaking life. You'll be able to sell more than you ever sold before. It doesn't matter what platform, no, ma no matter what targeting you got. If you know how to create the irresistible offer, people that wasn't even planning on buying will start saying, hold on. So uh, tell me a little bit more about that. They will. That's, that's how it's designed. And there's a formula to it. Just like when we were talking over the Sabbath, when we were on our Sabbath Bible study class, in case you guys don't know, so it's 45 people on here. In case some of you weren't here on Saturday, I strongly suggest you be here next Saturday. We went over the biblical business principles that the prophets use and some of the richest prophets in the Bible use. People way richer than freaking Jeff Bezos and, and, and Elon Musk were right there in that book while you're taught on in your Roman Catholic churches and Christianity churches, you're taught taught to think they walked around in dusty dirt roads and sandals and stuff. These dudes knew what they were doing. Okay. All right. Um, so yeah, the uh, Alaskan family said it was awesome. Yeah. Be fruitful. The Lord's commandments. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Be fruitful. That's what we're going to be doing in the boot camp. Be fruitful means to create, to produce something. To create, to produce something. It's literally, look, read it. Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. Bun Stack said, did you read the entire Bible? I read precept upon precept. But right now, we're currently all, uh, this is my second time going through class, Ecclesiasticus. Jesus, the son of Sirach, not the Jesus you guys are thinking about. It was a lot of Jesuses. It was only one Jesus the Christ. But Jesus, the son of Sirach, he wrote Ecclesiasticus. And he said, if we memorize or not memorize if we meditate on the proverbs the wise sayings in ecclesiasticus it will make us wise in all things when you go through ecclesiasticus you'll notice you get uh, uh information on friendships relationships business spirituality diet all of that stuff is in Ecclesiasticus, dude. So this is our second time going through Ecclesiasticus. I'm not rushing through reading the entire Bible, dude. But I'm going to read the entire Bible. But Proverbs and Ecclesiasticus, Proverbs and Ecclesiasticus, Proverbs and Ecclesiasticus will make you the wisest amongst some of the wisest people in the freaking world, man. It will. Ah, um... He says, stewardship on steroids. Yes, Lord. King Solomon says, Allison. Yes, Lord. We talked about King Solomon. We talked about his business model. Listen, don't look. Hey, listen, when the, when the Bible come out, the devil flee, right? Like <laughs> we went from 47 or 48 people to 40 people, y'all. That's crazy. Listen, I don't want the devil knowing anything anyway. So if y'all got to leave because we talk a little bit. Le uh, less about the technical part and more about what's going to give you longevity because no matter what you build your business to, God will destroy you if you ain't doing it right. So if you got to leave, man, adios. Hasta luego, maybe. You understand? 
Okay, so fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Colleen said it wasn't there, but caught the replay, loved it. Make sure you're there this Sabbath. Okay, uh, we'll be, Lord's will, going live this Saturday at 11 a.m. Clear your schedule. That's the actual Sabbath. Sunday is not. It's the actual Sabbath. So you're supposed to keep Saturday holy. Okay? Um, King Asher says, Ecclesiastica 637, let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord and meditate continually. Oh, snap. Listen, got to take this off. Um, he said, meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thine own desires. Yes, Lord. See? See, we think that the God is just going to give us wisdom to get the kingdom. We want the kingdom ultimately because everything here is going to pass away, of course. But what are we supposed to do until then? Live in poverty and slavery? No. He also wants us to prosper here until it's time to get out of here. So he said, if we meditate and practice those uh, commandments continually, these things that we're learning in, in the Bible and Ecclesiasticus, the formulas that we went over this Sabbath and everything, if we go hard on that, he'll give us the things of our desires here, now, as long as they're not wicked. Right? I'm not going to help you grow an OnlyFans account. Sorry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the spiritual component component is imperative. Exactly. This is why the businesses that I build become awesome because I use his formulas. I don't think I can do it myself. I know I can't. You can get your little minute temporary success, but as soon as you think you did it all, he make you fall just like Pharaoh. All right. Uh, Colleen says she was at church. Uh, the Most High gives us power to gain wealth. Yes, Lord. Bun Stacks says LOL. I don't know what that means. I guess. All right. <clears throat> but anyway, well, let's go to the second part of the video, guys, so we can see how it turned out, baby. All right. We're back about 30 minutes later or so. Uh, paused it or whatever. Part two. Anyway, as you can see, it scraped around. 5,582 uh, contact forms from all of these websites. As you can see, is chiropractors, is uh, dentists, is plastic surgeons, all of these in the United States. So what we're going to do just for this example is, and this all plays into the directory. So say you got your business directory. Instead of the funding link that I'm sending out, you will be sending them that. So we're going to stop that right here. I want to show you something real quick. Go to project URL. Go, you're like, well, okay, you show me the keywords. Yeah, it's real. Uh, what else? Okay, so then you come to the submission form right here. So as you can see, it's automatically going to fill out the captures in case you were wondering that. This is what it's going to do. It's automatically going to fill out the contact form. So it got the name, uh, <laughs> the name of the company, you know, email, the phone number. That's a tracking number, right? Okay, then it's going to uh, give uh, the subject line right here. I need a doctor ASAP. Remember, this is targeting chiropractors, plastic surgeons, and dentists. And then they got the message right here. Howdy. Um, you know, I can hook you up, basically. Okay, so that's the message. Okay, all right. So now that you guys see that, how do you send? How do you start sending the messages? So we're going to click on it again. And then we're going to hit start. So now, as you can see, it's highlighted. It wasn't highlighted in the other video. So all of those 5,000 uh, websites, it's going to hit those websites up and start sending messages uh, into the contact forms all at once. So we're going to hit that. Uh, it says use only selected items. Yes. Now I was asking me to preview my message one more time. And then I'm going to say, do I want to? Yeah. Okay. So continue. Boom. So now it is busy. And it's about to start sending the messages. So 
So it's just going to send the messages to all of those sites, as you guys can see. And that's pretty much how it goes. OK, so what do you guys think about that, though? That's crazy, as you can see. So the first one failed because I haven't set up the capture yet, uh, the decapture tool. That's the thing that's going to like bypass all the captures and everything like that. So you'll see it right here when it says failed. And then over here, it will say uh, sent if it actually went through. OK, so you just want to let this run in the background all day while you're working and everything like that. So it's super awesome. Okay, do y'all see how that can replace people? Because trust me, I used to hire VAs, man. You know, I used to hire VAs from Craigslist and from um, uh, people. Hey, what's the name of the dang on site? People workers or some some people people per hour or something like that. Dot com. So man, it's it's a whole bunch of. Um, you know, virtual assistants, outsource sites and stuff like that. That's another platform you can create, right? It's very easy. You can marry uh, a lot of the virtual assistants from Craigslist and connect them to business owners and groups and stuff like that and start that platform. Every time a virtual assistant get hired, you get a percentage of what they're getting paid per hour, just like a traditional staffing agency. If you guys ain't know, in the Godfather drop servicing course at the beginning of the scamdemic, yes, I'm gonna keep saying it. In the Godfather of drop servicing course, because I'm the Godfather of drop servicing, I taught people how to start their own virtual staffing agencies. You got the platform, you rank in Google for jobs hiring in St. Louis. And when people come in to fill out application, you charge the actual warehouses and business owners and all of that a fee for bringing them that new employee. They pass their little, uh, what do you call it, drug and background check. And the good thing about that is the drug and background check has an affiliate program. So you get paid from the affiliate program. And when they pass that, they get hired on. You're getting paid as long as they stay on with that uh, employer. I mean, I know some of y'all that worked at a staffing agency before, so you know how it works. So, yes, you build a platform like Indeed.com. What do you think that is? There's a drop service in sight. There's a directory, right? Indeed, Monster.com is a platform. And then you start ranking for all these terms on Google, trucking jobs in St. Louis, um, uh, waiter jobs in St. Louis, uh, construction jobs. So you start ranking for these. People start coming in, filling out applications. You send them to the business owners that's hiring. And every time somebody get hired on, you get paid. <laughs> Business is not difficult. It's literally just bringing two or more parties together and helping them get what they want so you can get what you want. All right. Um, <clears throat> all right. So Colleen said, <laughs> Bunstack said, I was laughing because of your OnlyFans joke. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, Lord. I used to have an OnlyFans celebrity marketing course. And I was trying to be uh, the Moses of um, <laughs> the internet, if you want to call it. Um, I was trying to get women to know that they were worth more than just their body. They want to talk about how men only see them as that. But now they're all the stuff they was talking about in the 90s, old the rap music, it, it talks about us, it downs us, it degrades us. Now they're doing it to themselves. And it's very sad. So <laughs> So all I was doing was I was trying to get all of these O fans models. I'm saying O fans because for some reason everybody else can upload an O fans video and not get not de de demonetized. But every time I upload an O fans video, mine's get demonetized. <laughs> but anyway, so I was trying to get them to understand. Like, hold on, I'll talk to them. I'm like, what are you good at? And they'll tell me all these other things they're good at. And I'm like, do you know that you can teach that? O fans was not meant to be an adult platform. It became that because people was wicked. You understand what I'm saying? People discovered that people would pay to see them and then other people like the sheep that they are just followed suit. And of course, lust is going to overthrow traditional education on a platform. So it became an adult platform. But 
you can sell anything on access to anything on OnlyFans. You understand? Bandman Kevo, have you guys heard of him? He teaches credit repair on there. Teaches how to build real credit on there and build businesses from that and all of that. Like, so basically, I was trying to get them to take their other skill sets and talents and you know use that on OnlyFans. And I was going to turn them into an OnlyFans celebrity. We were doing things like brand jacking. What I mean by brand jacking, I would take a, a, a creator who is trending on that, and I would uh, teach my client how to rank on Google and YouTube for that creator's name, and we would jack their traffic and their sales. So if you were to search for um, uh, Cardi B O fans, one of my clients would show up instead of Cardi B for her own name, and we would track uh, we would traffic jack some of her sales. If that client was more talented with their music, or if that client looked better or something like that. You know, some people will click on it and be like, hold on, this is a Cardi B. But then other people will be like, hold on, I'm happy I found this page instead. So it's just a way of dominating your sector, like I was talking to you guys. Okay, Alaskan uh, Garrison said, back in 2012, I had a small village in the Philippines employed as VAs. Yo, I see. Cree said, what tool is this? Everybody said, what tool is that? That's GSA. Uh, Alaskan family said, nice. Dwayne. Miles, let me see. Yeah, I can go ahead and unplug that. We got enough. Okay, hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all see her? Um, let me plug up this phone. My phone is dead, man. Gotta get some bread, man. You heard what I said, man. All right. <laughs> Last year, WAP was number one for weeks. Yeah, man. Like I said, that country is gone. You know, righteousness, it ain't none in that land over there, by. I mean, it's like overruled by the devil over there. That's the hell to the hand bass. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, listen, if I was y'all, it should be four. It's, a, it's 37 of y'all still on here. 37 new passports. 37 tickets up out of this dang uh, that, that that place right there, man. For real. Um, Bun Sex say, I don't think we can do that in Canada. You don't think you can do what in Canada? Uh, Alaskan family says I, she has plenty to spare. Dwayne says, I have an asset that allows people to give away three to seven night stays as four in four star hotels, four slash resorts at 30 US and 50 international locations. Um, do you have any suggestions for marketing this asset? Are you talking about uh, marketing boosts? <laughs> Gary says 350 pound plus Lizzo has her own special on HBO and dresses like Lady Gaga. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That stuff is crazy, man. Hold on one second, y'all. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm trying to get something for y'all. Trying to get something for y'all. Uh, where is it? Jeez. Uh, I cannot find it. I was trying to show y'all. I was going to log into the bank. But if I open up this part, y'all going to see too much. So I'm going to have to show y'all that tomorrow, tomorrow too. I'm trying to find a login for it. Let me see. Hmm. Oh. That's not it either. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me see. Then. Mm. Yeah, I'm happy for you tomorrow. Um, so, but we do have the affiliate, anti-job affiliate army. That's a platform where we put our high-ticket affiliate offers in there, and we have an army of affiliates that promote the offers for us, so that we don't have. To, I'm all about leverage, and guess where I got that from? 
scriptures. So basically, we make partnerships with local businesses that want, well, no local and national businesses that want more sales than they ever had in their lifetime, more sales than any agency can give them. And we put their offer, their landing page, their site inside our platform. Like I told you, it's just about partnerships. Just like Yahushai or Christ had disciples, and then he told them the disciples to go out and make more disciples. It's all about partnerships, leveraging, us affiliates. So we get the partnership, we put the offer in there, and then we train the affiliates just like Christ, those who call, y'all call them Christ, just like he trained the disciples. And guess what? Then when he left, the disciples went and taught the entire world to the point to where we still speak this stuff thousands and thousands of years later. So this is what we do in our affiliate network. A, a lot of affiliate networks, you go in there and you just get the link and they just let you go. Or they just tell you don't promote this way, but they don't really tell you how to get the money. No, you sign up to our affiliate network. We have training for the offers. We teach you exactly how to get sales for Why? Because when you get sales, we gonna get sales. Make, make a lot of sense, don't it, right? So, and we have high ticket offers in there private jet charter, exotic car rental, that type of stuff. You're not seeing that in Max Bounty or ClickBank. See? So we're different. All right? All praises to the most high. Okay. So mañana, like I said, guys, I'm going to have to show you guys the IG scraper tool, uh, how to download it. I'm going to get you, I'm gonna send you guys the English version. For those of you who got the Spanish version, uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to send you guys the English version. That's funny. And uh, we're going to go over how to download it, extract it, and get it running tomorrow at 5. So set your alarms. Um, one more time in the comments, let me get a yes, Lord. If you got some value out of this, if you have some good ideas of how to leverage AI, you know, bots, scrapers, different tools, not just chat GPT. That is an assistant, guys. That's cool. And that's, that's awesome, especially if you got writer's block or idea creation block or or something like that. Uh, Chat GPT can be your your um <laughs> your other partner in your strategy session. You can say, "Hey, Chat GPT, this is literally what I did. I said I got these three business models. Which one would you recommend to start with if I want to make money the fastest with the least amount of investment, with the least amount of obstacles?" The least amount of legal uh, struggles that I have up front. And it'll literally analyze the three or four different business models that you give it. And then that's how you use it. Then you say, okay, you chose this one, ChatGPT. What would be the steps of me legally getting this startup? And what would be the startup cost for this, like on average? And it will literally outline it. Okay, ChatGPT, who, like, what type of person, what industry? specialist should i reach out to to make sure this runs smoothly and it will oh you're gonna need an entertainment lawyer oh you're gonna need this or you're gonna it's literally will outline everything things that you have to pay um you know count like thousand dollar consultations for with other type of specialists chat gpt can tell you in like 10 minutes so am i an advocate of chat gpt yes is it mine no do I believe it's going to be greater things out there? Yes. Do I think you can do this without ChatGPT? Yes. But should you? No, because listen, these tools allow us to catapult ourselves like forward. You can like look at where you're going to be in five years and you can leverage these things and get there in like a year and a half maybe or less depending on how good you are, how well you use these tools. I mean, think about it. Think about it, y'all. I use Ringless Voicemail Blast. It's some of you guys that still cold call. All of those numbers I showed you guys in that Excel folder, some of you guys will take that and you will call all 4,000 of those people. Okay, today I'm going to call 200. Tomorrow I'm going to call another 200. I can plug all 4,000 people or contacts into um, a Ringless Voicemail and into an SMS voicemail, I mean, SMS blast, and I could blast that out to all 4,000 numbers in less than five to 10 minutes and get my no's back quickly, get my yeses back quickly, get my F offs back quickly versus me sitting there doing that 
all day or doing this on the phone reach i'm just reaching out trying to see if you wanted me to mess with your social media okay oh you don't oh i'm sorry i bothered you no i ain't doing all that crap everything i do we can automate all right i want you guys to have that thinking too so when you build your assets guys whether you're in the boot camp or not make sure you automate things okay uh to the best of your ability it's certain things that you will still need a human for we're not completely worthless, <laughs> right? But automation to the furthest extent. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. People need to update skills. Make it to where I have to hire a human. Don't feel bad. For me. Man, they just going to hire a robot to flip these burgers. You need a better skill then. You got to stay ahead of the game. All right. Alaskan family says, I am writing a series of 10 books on empowering teen teenagers to live a good life. Y'all heard that? This is why y'all want to share information and stuff, because some of you guys can be each other's uh, customers and, and partners. Uh, 5 p.m. DZ asks what, what time zone. That will be 5 p.m. Eastern. We got a few yes lords, but not a lot, man. Yeah, yeah. You're breaking my heart in my mint condition voice. Um, used to write it and write and publish three books. Oh, he used it to write and publish three books on Amazon this weekend. That's Alaskan family. They published three books on Amazon this weekend. See, people think, oh, it can't be used. It can't go on these platforms, please. Now. A lot of platforms are going to crack down. Who cares? Get what you're getting right now. Like a lot of people whining, man, they won't accept this. Well, tweak it, modify it, move around it. Go to a different platform. Go to the, you got to have some fight, some some grit, some hustle in you. Can't be soft. I know the world is trying to baby you. It's funny how I want to baby you and crucify you at the same time. But anyway, look, we got to like have some endurance you understand some durability you know what i'm saying you got to be flexible you understand you can't you can't fall apart every time an update happens or, or somebody uh blocks you or some type of obstacle on a platform guess what every time i run into an obstacle i build the plan i'm like you know what forget them i'm gonna build my own with them it don't have to be famous it just have to be something that i can use so i ain't got to deal with that platform no more that's how a creator works Okay, all right. Uh, Alaskan family says they are all original ideas. I'll praise it to the most high. There you go. That's gonna get you longevity. Uh, Gary Harrison said, make it your own. DZ said, improvise, overcome, adapt. <laughs> Did you get that from um, um, Undisputed uh, 4? Undisputed, uh, what's that? Undisputed 3 with Boyka. And it had the uh, the black American boxer in there, and he was uh, <laughs> Boyka was doing the martial, you know, the martial arts and all of that. But uh, the black dude was only boxing in there, and he was getting whooped by them martial artists. But then he started whispering to himself. He he was saying that he was saying improvise, overcome, adapt. And then he started like like adapting to a defense that can defend against martial artists, even though he was a boxer. So did you get that from that man? Let me know. <laughs> He said, I was in the Navy. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Uh, my dad was a Marine. Alaskan family, never stop trying stuff, especially if it's... Finally, somebody that gets it. They said, never stop trying stuff, especially if it's free. We can whine all day about errors in chat GPT or old Pictori won't... Uh, 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 Udemy won't accept the AI-generated voices of Pictor. But guess what? You can still use it to create the courses. It still do the B roll. It still automates a lot of stuff. It still pulls the transcriptions for you. Chat GPT might got errors, but it still comes up with the idea for you. Still write out the outline. It still can go deep into chapters and all of this extra stuff for you. Like, dang, are we gonna whine every time somebody tell us no, man? Or are we gonna beat the door down? Okay. Seneca Turner said, "I just started a book about fixing credit. Let's do it." That never gets old. There's a lot of credit repair specialists, but dude, there's a lot of people with bad credit. What I strongly suggest is you build some type of platform 
for credit repair. I would give everything away, majority of the things away on that platform for free just to fill up the platform with users, monetize it in ways that people aren't even paying attention to. Because you got to remember credit, everybody has a credit score. That means your potential customer is everybody. Everybody, <laughs> even people with good credit. You can have a section on there on how to monetize your good credit. Because a lot of people got good credit, but they working at McDonald's. You're like, dude, do you know that you can use your credit to go out there and get an Airbnb? No money now. Go out there and get an exotic car rent uh, uh, car and put it on Turo and start making a, a little car rental business on Turo with your good credit. You don't know that? See, a lot of people don't know nothing about this stuff. So I would create a platform, an education, credit education platform. Look at me, I'm giving this away. An education platform for credit. It will have the sections and stuff for how to up your credit, but then it will have the sections for what to do with your dang on credit. Credit games, you know what I'm saying? All type of different things for credit. You understand? And you monetize it with ads, partnerships, sponsorships, CPA offers, affiliate offers, all of that extra stuff. I wouldn't even charge a subscription. People wouldn't even see the money coming. You know, you're my Tupac voice. Okay, Alaskan family said, thank you, Dad. Um, you are welcome, Denada. Uh, Seneca said, I know, right? Yes, love it. Travis says, on average, how quickly do you start seeing cash flow from the books? It depends. Courses and books, guys, it depends. With a course, if, you, if you're doing a launch, this is why I recommend when you're doing courses, you do a launch. You start partnering. You start going in other groups. You start um, uh, going on other people's channels, niche-related channels, and uh, getting interviewed. Even if you got to pay for an interview, you get to hijack their audience and get them ready for the launch. They can get on your uh, waiting list or, or, or whatever you want to call it, blah, blah, blah. So courses, I, they're a little different. With ebooks, a lot of ebooks are e evergreen, so it's kind of difficult to know when you're going to get paid. But, but this is what I recommend for courses and books trends. That's the only way to be able to predict when you'll start getting traffic and sales. Trends. Right now, let's say you wanted to build or you wanted to create a, a romance novel. That's super competitive, y'all. It could be forever for you to get a sale. That's super competitive. So what do you do? You break the romance industry or niche down. Men, women, problems, issues, pleasures, successes. Right now, a big issue in relationships are women that act like men. There's no feminine women really in America no more, which is why men, I'm pretty sure you heard of the Passport Bro movement, are leaving America. So if I was to create a relationship book, it wouldn't be some romance, Fabio, hair blowing in the wind with the moon sparkling novel. It would be speaking to women, how to become so feminine that men don't leave America. I don't know, that's just an idea right now. And I will put that right in front of the women in the Passport Pro, uh, Passport Bro movement. You got the girl named Pearly Things. You got a girl named uh, uh, Reva. You got a girl named Gail Nelson. These are women trying to help women get more feminine so that the men won't have to go to Hispanic countries or Asian countries to find a beautiful, kind, submissive uh, wife. So it would be perfect to partner with one of those women and say, I got this book on femininity right here to help American women stop looking like men. And we can start uh, keeping the men in our country again and building, rebuilding a community and stuff. That's exactly what I would do. And you see, that was just off of a trend. But if you do it just a regular romance book or how to keep your marriage book. <laughs> Ain't no telling when you're going to get a sale. And then you got to pay attention to the world and you jump out ahead of it. 
That's how you can predict when you start getting revenue. If you made that book right now and you partner with those people right now while the Paris Port Bro movement, while the men moving abroad for wives movement is going on right now, you can expect money fairly fast. I'll just say that. Um, Alaskan family said cash flow is all about the marketing. Your book. Exactly. That's what I was just saying. I have uh, been studying and doing online marketing for 10 years. So experience. There we go. Uh, Clinica says much appreciated. I'm not Clinica. I'm sorry, Seneca. Um, I wrote a book called The Truth About the Truth or The Truth About the Truth. I like that. I, I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I, I like to play on the word. Uh, said, I am 57 and have eight master's certifications that I am planning on making courses with my knowledge. Ching, ching. Yes, Lord. Let's, listen up, man. It's 40 people on here. If y'all done spent y'all dang on hard-earned money, time, life, all of that crap, not my bad, not crap, all of that stuff, going to college. If you spent all of that going to college, you better monetize that. Somebody in the comments was saying, dude, now you got people out there making courses that ain't got no experience. He's right. So why don't we combat that with some of you guys that actually have experience? That way, when you leverage these tools and everything, it will come out 10 times better than everybody. It won't matter if it's congested or not. We can't make excuses. Use, leverage what you got. If you got master's degrees or any type of degree or any type of certification, man, listen, even if you got a GED, you can create a course on how to prepare for the GED. I don't know. Like, do use what you got. You understand? Uh, Alaska said, I married a Filipino. See? They know what's going on. <laughs> they know what's going on, guys. Y'all let the, a lot of the women let the government, all of this voting crap and a lot of this stuff turn them into men. Men never cared about women having money. Y'all can have all the money y'all want, but that don't impress us. But the government and media have taught y'all that that's what y'all are worth. Your bodies and how much money and your job position. Men don't care about that stuff. So now is at the point where the things that women take pride in, they kind of turn men off. And you're going to be successful, yes, but you're going to be successful and lonely. You can be a thought and pretend that that's a, I'm being a thought because I wanted to be. No, it's because ain't nobody really taking you serious because you're putting the things on a pedestal that men don't really care about. We don't care about your money. We care about if you listen to us. We care about because we've been making money for generations. So why would a man, a real man, I'm not talking about a simp or a bum, a real man, why would they care about a, a woman making money when we've been doing that forever? So don't get, don't let the government get y'all twisted. Equality, rights. Votes, job positions. Ooh, I get paid more than my husband now and all of that. I wear the pants of the house. Okay, wear the pants in the house by yourself. God made men and God made women. That's just how it goes. So if y'all want good, healthy relationships, we need to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3, look at the order and not have a problem with it. That's just how it goes, guys. Okay, and gals. Ah, Garrison, uh, Gary Harrison says, so did my, so did my father, uh, so did my father. She's two years older than I am. Oh, okay. Wow. So second generation. Okay. Uh, Mark said, I got here late. I can't wait to watch from the beginning. <laughs> yes, Lord, man. Hey, listen, you did miss some things, man. You missed some things, but hey, you're here now, right? This is no mistake. Alaskan family said, I have trained all positions in the auto service industry from 20, for 20 years. That's more. Like, I, I barely know how to freaking change the oil. You see what I'm saying? And now I don't have to because I'm out here, so I ain't driving no dang nowhere. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy driving out here, dude. Um, Alaskan family, just like a gift. Only cars was on was his own ends. Seneca said, facts. Leon Stone said, when is the boot camp? Everybody is asking that. I think I'm going to make a post and pin it somewhere. Um, I'll have an exact date for you guys tomorrow, Lawrence will, okay, of when the boot camp is, okay? Everybody asking when the boot camp is. 
it's just like everybody trying to get to the kingdom. But do you know if you're gonna get in the kingdom? Right? So don't ask it. Well, hey, the prophets uh ask ask your house shy. <laughs> the prophets ask your house shy or Christ, hey, when when is God gonna restore the kingdom back to the Israelites again? And he was basically like, look. I'm paraphrasing, but it basically, in so many words, don't worry about it. Just do what you got to do to get the kingdom. So I'm saying that with the boot camp. Don't spend no dumb money for the next two weeks. Make sure you set aside 2500 bucks. We're asking about the boot camp, but are we actually going to take action? Remember, there's no cash in without action. And there's bars right there. So I, I see a lot of people asking like when it is, but are you gonna like if if iPhone come out with a new phone, which one are you gonna pick? The boot camp or that? So like we just gotta know ourselves, all right? And I'm not talking to you, uh Leon Stone. I'm talking about period to everybody. Period. Cause there's actually some people I can show y'all on my phone, but I don't want to put y'all on blast. Been max uh messaging us and texting customer support and stuff. They forward it to me. They asking all these questions, acting like they trying to do something. You send them the invoice, and they they disappear. So let me just say that while I got y'all. Don't don't message us unless you're actually sure you want to do something, y'all. If you got questions, then that's fine. All right. If you got questions, that's fine. But don't act big business if you ain't trying to do business for real, for real. Uh, a lot of people think that talking about business, they feel good. It it gives them some type of like, like it works their endorphins and give them dopamine and they just feel good that they're t at least talking about business. It means I'm moving towards my goal if I'm talking about it. No, you actually got to do it. You got to actually got to do it. You understand what I'm saying? All right. Um, Gary Harrison said boot camp, boot camp. Alaskan family said boot camp will be awesome. Uh, uh, Gary said the week of the 20th is going to be 2,500. Yes, Lord. Uh, Leon Stone said, "Is and is it available in to Canadians?" Yes, man. We're on the internet, so wherever the internet goes, boot camp can go because it's going to be virtual. It's not a, a in person mastermind. Sorry if I came off like that, y'all. A mastermind would be be far more expensive than that any day, don't we? Um, but no, nah, twenty five twenty five hundred just for the boot camp, right? Uh, mastermind, we will have a mastermind. But it will be, it won't be open to everybody. It will be with the people that graduate from this boot camp and actually monetize their assets because you'll be able to, you have, you'll be able to afford a boot camp. I mean, not a boot camp, a mastermind later this year. Later this year, we're going to have the Lords of Leverage. I'm telling y'all right now, the Lords of Leverage mastermind. And the reason why I don't do masterminds like that is because of how I live. I'm not in the world. God teaches me to watch my back. Even though, even though we are communicating now and everybody is cool right now, everybody don't have the best of intentions. So in order to mastermind in person, that means you have to be in person, meaning we got to be in the same place at the same time, which makes that very dangerous for me and my family. You understand what I'm saying? So yes, the mastermind will happen, but it will be for those that have something to lose, <laughs> meaning you got actual assets that I helped you build. You actually went through the boot camp. That is the only way you will ever see me in person and we will ever do anything together in person. All right. Um, Travis says, I'm newish to your channel. What comes in the boot camp? OK, I said one more time. We're going to use a number of. Um, we're going to have the developer It's going to be me, the developer and another teacher in there. And we're going to build five to seven different assets. These assets will be apps, tools, extensions, directories, social networks, and other different types of platforms. I think I said directories, right? And they will be, uh, uh, they will have instant monetization methods on them as soon as they're built. So that you won't have to wait for subscriptions and sales. But then we're going to assist you in getting actual subscriptions and sales and users on your platforms as well. 
So at the end of this eight week boot camp, you will have five to seven tools that will be fully monetized. Fully monetized. I'm not promising you to be a millionaire, promising you the world, but you're going to be monetized to the point to where you definitely ain't got to work for sales anymore, whether you're an entrepreneur or whether you work at a nine to five. You won't have to, uh, you'll make money whether or not somebody buys something from you. That's one of the easiest ways for me to say it. I make money where, even if a person don't buy anything from me. That's true passive in income. I want that for you guys. So that's what these, these assets are going to be, okay, for you guys. Uh, Randy says, how do you know what to build what to build an asset? Are you asking how do we know what type of asset to build or how do we know what it would? Is that what you're asking? If that's what you're asking is we research. First step is researching markets. Okay. So obviously the scripture, the scripture says, let all your ways be established. That means don't try to recreate the will. Okay. So basically we look to the industries, the main industries out there right now. And we look at who is running or who are the leaders, the titans of those main industries, and we create a better version of their assets. And we don't do it to compete with them. We do it so that you can get passive income. And then I let you free. If you decide you want to grow your directory as big as Yelp, you go ahead, go right ahead and do that. But my goal is to get you to as enough users to where you have passive income with each asset. It's going to be monetized with ad revenue. It's going to be monetized with partnership type revenue, meaning like uh, revenue splits, revenue share of sponsorships, monthly uh, subscriptions and other ways. Also drop servicing. If you guys know what drop servicing is per lead as well. So, and this is what we've been doing since 2015. If you go back on my channel, you'll see. All right. I'm older than I look. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. So I appreciate all of you guys for staying on here and checking out the videos for how to work the software. For those of you who got the IG lead scraper tool and you got sent the Spanish version, you will send the English version. And tomorrow we will have a tutelage or a tutorial for how to download, extract, and run the IG Scraper tool as well. Because the IG Scraper tool is what's going to get you the leads so that you can run them inside the free AI bot unless you want to go and scrape your leads some other manual way or pay somebody else to do it. So that's my method. Like we use these scraper tools first, LinkedIn scraper tools, IG scraper tools and stuff like that. And then we plug them into these bots and we plug them in. We, we run our bots and we run our ringless voicemail blasts, our text blasts all in the same day. Email blasts, all of that stuff is just constantly running. So we're getting just. Come on, man. Come on. No human could possibly do that by themselves. It will take you three years to do what one of these bots can do in the two days. So don't even try to compete with it. Just go ahead and embrace it. Okay. Um, Travis says, thank you for responding to the comments, spreading the word and helping us grow businesses and assets. May the Lord bless you and continue to bless you as you have blessed others. All praises to the most high. I can't do nothing. He gives us the seed. You understand what I'm saying? To put out there. So every time I put something out there, he hand me more so I can bless y'all. So it's, it's not from me. It's from him. But thank you for the comments. I'll praise it to the most high. Uh, Gary Harrison says boot camp is only $3, uh, $312.50 uh, $312, uh, per week. That's him breaking it down to how much it would cost. And he, he said that's also less than $360 per asset, which is if you consider the type of assets we're going to be building, they would each cost thousands of dollars each. So since we're building them together, basically what he's saying is you're getting a steal for just 2,500 bucks. Appreciate that help, man. Um, Public Adjuster said, thank you for the content. I'll research your 
build a raw AI and website. Hey, remember, build a raw ain't my site. I don't want y'all to start thinking build a raw is my site. That's a site that I use, all right? <laughs> but that's not my site, okay? I didn't build build a raw, okay? Um, but I introduced you guys to build a raw. The bot that I sent you, the AI bot that I sent you, that's mine. But build a raw is owned by somebody else. I wanted you guys to have access to all of the automation tools inside Builderall, which is why I gave you, uh, sent y'all that, recommended you that. Uh, Alaskan family did the did the muscles. Uh, <laughs> thank you, gracious senior. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah is real, David. Yes, Lord, yeah is real. Yeah is real. Give them the praise, y'all. You can put a hallelujah in the comments because that means praise ye, yeah. Okay. Um, Public Adjuster said, I'm going to use ChatGPT for my written content on my website. Last time it took me two months on and off. Yeah, man. It shouldn't take that long. I said, good hour. To, if you really wanted to be super full of substance, uh, substance and all that, then spend an hour to three hours in ChatGPT making sure everything is super deep and original and human and uh, com conversational style and with slang in it if you guys saw my video the one i think that's the one that got the hundred thousand views on there i taught i teach you how to talk to chat gpt to make it not sound robotic because everybody got these ai tool detectors ai content detectors i showed you guys one of my uh website pages that's ranking on google while everybody telling you that you can't google won't allow you to rank no chat gpt articles yeah, because you're doing it wrong. You understand? So you just got to get in there. Talk to it like a partner, man. Um, Public Adjuster says, share links, again, of all pages and bots. Okay, there we go right there. If anybody does not signed up to build a raw, then I strongly suggest you do, because not just for the bots that I send you, Builderall itself is a freaking, is an asset in itself. It has so many, it's an all-in-one marketing uh, platform. And Pictori, if you're doing uh, your your um, your courses and everything like that, Pictori, dude, it will get the B-roll for you. So you ain't got to go out there and find and get hit with copyright strikes for uh, um, images. There's not creative commons and all of that extra stuff. It's going to do all of that. And it's going to auto-transcribe your course videos as well. So even though you can't use the AI generated voice in there no more, you can still freaking use it to build your courses. Okay, just be a little creative, man. And as far as the link for the Facebook group, we got that in there too, but most of y'all should be in the Facebook group by now. Uh, but keep in mind, I'm gonna post the link in there when the network, our social network is done, that's where we're gonna congregate and uh, that'll be done soon, okay? And we'll just go from the Facebook group over there to our social network. Travis says, I will follow your channel. And for the next week, I watch and copy you. If I make enough to get in your boot camp, I'll be there. All praises to the most high, man. Hey, do what you got to do. Do what you can, right? Uh, I never want anybody to be in a bad position. I just want you to use integrity. Use integrity in your conscience. If you're about to make a purchase, you got the money and you about to make a purchase for some dumb stuff just based off of pleasure, then just use your integrity and your conscience and say, you know what? This will be better building assets. Even if you don't do it with me, I'm not using sales tactics here, right? All right. I'm talking about building assets, period. Whether with or without me, guys. I mean, I'm not an idiot. I would love for you guys to build assets with me, but come on. I want you to build assets, period. I don't want you to be on the plantation. I don't want you to always be the consumer only. You're not meant for that. You're meant to be like your father who art in heaven. He is a creator, a producer. He created man in his image, meaning man are supposed to be creators, producers. So whether or not you're dealing with me, don't go to some other channel, make money online, affiliate marketing, make money online, drop shipping. Always keep in mind assets, assets, owner, 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 asset, asset, asset. Program yourself. Meditate on that. Don't be the sheep. Okay? All right. Um, all right. Seneca said, I'm new to the channel, 
but I've been watching and I'm impressed. I already saw about five videos so far, and I can see already you the truth. All praises to the most high. That's the truth. The law is the truth. Remember this, y'all. If you really want some really good, good, good content, you need to go to the videos. They got 20 views on them. Y'all's real been the same since before y'all heard of this chat GPT stuff. If you want to see the platforms we've been building inside the banks, inside the affiliate networks that we build, inside the apps and tools that we build, go to the videos from a couple months ago. Look at the ones that got 100 views on them and stuff like that. Those are the ones that are really like, like really, really not even talking about chat GPT. It's talking about our assets, your assets and all of that. That's the truth. That's the stuff that's, you understand what I'm talking about? Um, Travis says, Descript can copy your voice. Descript can copy your voice and use it to do text to speak. And yeah, that's G. It's this other one I saw. Uh, yo, y'all gotta be careful out there, man. These women gonna set y'all up. And he said he, he said he'll kill me in my sleep. I got it on WhatsApp. And then it'll, they'll play it in court and it'll be your voice. But it was actually one of these things. Look. And this stuff's scary. They trying to set up Andrew Tate right now with some dang on AI voice bull crap right now. Look, <laughs> this stuff is scary, man. First they came with the deep fakes of John Wick and all of that stuff. Now is that the voice is this tool out there where it can imitate any rapper's voice. So now you ain't even got to pay for a feature. You can say I got Drake on the track, and it'll actually sound like I got Drake on the F pan Drake. <laughs> I ain't paying Drake nothing. You understand what I'm talking about? I just write a verse that sounds like some soft he would sing. <laughs> and then I say, hey, I got Drake on the feature, y'all. <laughs> you understand? It's a, it can actually sound like them, y'all. All right. Uh, Randy said, how does the debit card feature work in the bank? It works just like the debit card in any other bank. So basically, once you have your platform, Everything will be um, either white labeled or third party, just like with Cash App or NetSpin or any of these other guys. Cash App ain't a real bank. Stripe ain't a real bank. PayPal ain't a real bank. Everything is third party so that they could uh, expedite the legal process. Because if you go get everything in your name, do you know how long it takes to actually get a banking license? <laughs> no. So basically you have the platform and then you third party all of the things that you don't have money or licenses for. You understand what I'm saying? Or you don't want to waste time doing it. Okay. So the debit cards, they will be either co-branded or white label, but they will be ran through companies that actually have licenses for this. All right. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to get a percentage of every transaction fee. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, geez. Hold on, y'all. This my. I think I left this computer plugged up too long. Now the battery charge. There we go. All right, so you'll get a percentage of every time somebody swipe or use their debit card. ATM, restaurant, it doesn't matter. It, do, it doesn't matter. And when they use your platform. So that's... That's the power of having a banking platform is it's literally like you just you you go everywhere with a person wherever they spend money. You you know, and the, and the more powerful, more powerful. It's kind of like. Retargeting. If you own a banking platform, you know what people spend their money on. You got those people's numbers and email companies buy data. I'm just going to throw that out there. Not saying that I sell data, but imagine logging into your bank as the admin and you go into your users and you're looking at their last 10 transactions and they constantly buy protein powder and weight loss equipment from this specific company. Then you go to Google and you type in the name of that company and you put the word affiliate program behind it and they actually got an affiliate program and you literally just email that same person. I know that you just purchased from blah, 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 but this special right here, you can get three more for the same price of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you, it's like you're reading their mind. If you know, you already know what they spend their money on. If somebody been purchasing, 
if they just got done paying their Netflix bill and you just seen that happen a couple of days ago, you can send them an affiliate link for Hulu and say, hey, Hulu got better freaking choices, better shows, better new movies coming out on there for less less than Netflix. Saves money. Blah, blah, blah. It's literally owning a bank is anyway. Um wow, we got somebody from uh from the Czech Republic. What's going on? Descript works with Pictory. You could be unstoppable. I haven't checked Descript yet, but thanks for the recommendation. Y'all can go check Descript. See what he's talking about. Uh God bless. Incredible, yes. Y'all got some good vibes too, man. Y'all got some good vibes too. Uh, I feel Jesus' e energy even from the other side of the world. Yes, Lord. And that's what this does, man. These platforms give us leverage, man. We can reach each other. This is literally time travel. Right now, it is five. Well, I ain't five no more. It's 722 where I'm at, but somewhere else is like 7 a.m. So if you're on here and it's 7 a.m., if you're in the Philippines, it's 8 a.m., that means my voice, this picture, this we ain't trying to get too deep, but it literally time traveled. It went it went forward in time. It's tomorrow where you're at right now. <laughs> ain't that freaking crazy, man? That's that's crazy. And it's only possible with God, first of all, but then these platforms and internet. Okay. Um Alaskan family says advertising my new book in my Facebook groups with over 10,000 followers preaching the word. Yes, Lord. My, my name is says it's January 17th where they are right now. See, <laughs> for all of y'all that are in America right now or in Panama and it's still Martin Luther King's birthday, January 16th. We're literally talking to somebody from tomorrow. So if you don't believe in time travel, that's crazy. All right, so it's, 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 and there's somebody on here that said it's 522 where they at. So our voices and our imagery is going forward and back in time in a way. Not how you'll see it on Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures or something like that, or on uh, freaking Back to the Future or nothing, but it is actually happening, right? It's, it is 322 in Alaska, see? Somebody is in Roswell, New Mexico, man. What's up with the aliens, man? Is that real? No, I'm just playing. All right, yeah, you see to the future, see? So, <laughs> all right, it's always fun hanging out on here with y'all. I wanted to make sure that you guys get some value, though. You know, these sessions are cool to hang out, but I just want to make sure you guys leave here fed and you leave here with something that you can actually take and put towards your business so that you guys can actually start showing me what you're doing just like i show y'all inside some of my businesses i want to actually see what y'all doing because we're gonna um have a class soon it's not really a class i guess you could call it a podcast i'm gonna bring one of my brothers on here and uh we're going to help you guys live with your actual businesses that you have like literally every day we'll take one of you guys from the comment or the chat and bring you on you'll get on cam and we'll break down your business give you guys some ideas i can only give you uh experience that i have some of you might be more successful than me i'm never going to make it seem like i am the greatest of all time or or something like that but i have been through a lot i've had a lot of successes and failures and i have a wealth of knowledge all praises to the most high so i want to be able to help you guys not fall into pits and to climb mountains or I take the elevator up a mountain. No, I'm just playing. Okay. <laughs> oh, my name is it says thank you so much for your work. Yes, Lord. I appreciate you guys as well. It's through the good graces of the most high that I'm even here to be able to do any of this, y'all. Um, incredible value. Hopefully, I can use in my business. All uh, praises. Yes. Travis says everything is frequency and vibration. Think about it. God spake everything into existence. What is voice? Vibration and frequencies. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All right. So why don't y'all go in the group? Because we need that mother to be active, y'all. It needs to be a community. Go in the group and write one thing at least. Just post one thing right now. 
that you feel like you learned today? At least one thing that you took away from today. I'll give you guys, if you guys don't have the uh, group link, let me see. I'll put it in the chat right here. Alaskan family said, what are the rules of the Facebook group? I just put the link in there right there. The rules of the Facebook group is no spam. If you have something that you want to promote or talk to the people about, uh, like our sale or something like that, guys, then just let me know and I'll give you an introduction and we'll do it professionally. I don't want it to turn into one of those spammy groups where everybody posting the link and nobody's getting value. You, uh, If you're teaching something, I don't mind you teaching something. You understand what I'm saying? But if it's just a sales pitch every time you post something or something like that, no, because then the engagement is going to go away. Nobody's going to want to be in there. There's a lot of dead Facebook groups anyway due to over promotion. All right. Um, there is a post for Timco on there right now. <laughs> See what I mean? Okay. I don't even know what Timco is. What is that? Oh, you've been granted exclusive benefits on Tim Timu. What the heck is that? I don't I don't even know what Tim U is, and I'm not gonna open it up either. Let me just go ahead and get rid of it. Remove post. I'm gonna remove post one time. If y'all want to promote in there, just inbox me, message me, or text the number. That is cool, and we'll do it in a in a professional and organized way. The Bible says let everything be done decently and in order. Okay? decently and in order okay so we gotta like preserve it and make it to a place where people actually feel like they can come and learn something so i'm trying to get everything together for the network uh the social network that we got and we'll be migrating over there you guys have your own profiles and you can post whatever you want on there it'll be just like any other social network you can create your own groups all of that extra stuff but we're going to come together and work together and do real business and do things that we can't do on a lot of these platforms. Um, Alaska in family says, look like I need to put my glasses on. Joker says, is that you I talk to on support? What do you mean? Text message, Facebook, what? What are you talking about? I post in the groups, but a lot of the time, if you guys text, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be support. You understand what I'm saying? Unless I have like a, a, a coaching session set up with y'all. Travis Barlow says, I learned that marketing is about people. Take away their fear and they will throw money at you. Exactly. DZ said, how to automate marketing on mass email versus manual email marketing. That is priceless. That is what I learned from you today. All praise to the most high, man. All praise to the most high. That is priceless, man. It's just about getting in front of people and not scaring them away. So the more people you can get in front of with the irresistible offer, let me just take you guys real quick because before we go, I need I need to take y'all over here because you need to see this. This is going to change everything. This is going to change everything for you in sales, in your businesses, whether it's an online business or whether it's an offline business. I need y'all to understand what matters the most is your offer. Listen, I've tested offers with a tiny bit of traffic. Like I told you, a lot of my videos got like 20 views on them, but I made like 10, $20,000 from those 20 views. Why? Because of the offer. When you got an irresistible offer, you don't need a million subscribers or any of that extra bull crap. It's people with a million subscribers ain't making $5,000 a month. Okay. So here we go. This is the book from Mark, Mark Joyner and it's called the irresistible offer. Cause listen, this is how you get sales the first time you meet a person. You know a lot of webinar people, Russell Brunson, ClickFunnels, and a lot of these sales people, follow-up people. It's okay to follow up and have follow-up systems. You definitely want to have them. But how can you get the bulk of your sales at the beginning? Because most of the time, people are going to be the most excited about you when they first hear about you. Not after the 10th or 15th email. That's when they get to buying through pity. Like, ah, uh, let me go ahead and support this guy. They're really trying. You know what I'm saying? No, they're most excited about you when they first hear about your stuff. 
You understand what I'm saying? So when you got the irresistible offer, dude, and you put that in front of a hungry audience, yo, man, I made so much money during the scandemic, dude. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know. Due to the irresistible offer, this book changed my life forever. I was making sales, but nothing like what we do now. Nothing like what we did during the scandemic and at the prices that I priced my stuff at. Check this out. Let me just take y'all over to the agency right here. It teaches you to make it to a price matters not. Let me pause this video because it's going to automatically start playing. Hold on. I'm excited, man. Boom. That's the testimonial marathon. I call it the testimonial marathon. But anyway, uh, <laughs> what it is, yo, what's up? <laughs> I see you. You said, cuz, are you crip? All right. <laughs> Congratulations. You've been selected out of many to 1,000x your sales profits in less than 90 days using our market monopoly that guarantees rapid growth at breakneck speed. Leaving this page without selecting an option for growth will result in your local competitors receiving the sales that would have went to you. I'm certain you're smart enough not to allow that, right? Boom. All right, so got a little bit of scarcity in there. But what I want y'all to pay attention to is my prices. So my book is not a free plus shipping offer like the rest of these so-called gurus tell you. No, you're going to pay for your shipping and you're going to pay $197 because this book is the greatest book of all time when it comes to marketing. This is called Only Versus Best. How to be the only buying option versus the best buying option. Because if you're the only option, by default, people just assume by perception that you're the best anyway, right? If you go to Google and you type in a uh, best scraping tool and only one company shows up and everybody else is on page three and four, you're going to assume that that only business that's on the front page is the best. So I'd rather be the only versus best. And this book teaches you how to build market monopolies to become the only option to purchase from. Oh, yeah. So it's $197. Then we got the affiliate army course. That's $5,000. And if you don't want to do it yourself, we got the $15,000 option. Why? Because nobody else do what we do. Then we got the market monopoly. That's $47,000. Then we got the fly is out option for the market monopoly. And that's $100,000 pretty much. And it only works because we have an irresistible offer. The same people that buy this right here end up buying this one right here if I feel like going somewhere. I don't really, most time I ain't flying out nowhere. I really don't like flying back to Babylon. And most of the people that try to buy or they live in America. But yeah, so I usually just try to convince people, <laughs> try to convince people to get this one right here. You understand what I'm saying? Or, or, do the army course, right? You understand? So my point is with the irresistible offer, without the irresistible offer, you can't demand prices like that because you're a commodity. You're something that people can get from somewhere else. But when you figure out the irresistible offer for your business, people can't go anywhere else to get it. So they got to pay whatever. They can't say, what is the typical price? What's the industry price for this? Because there ain't no industry price for this because it's your original irresistible offer. So you can charge whatever the hell you want. And as long as it is desirable and moves them away from pain, then they'll pay it.